Hello and welcome to Scott Bryant's Fitness Systems and this video is all about why women can't lose weight on their exercise program or with their diet and they've tried hundreds of things in which to lose weight so this video is going to cover the reasons why you can't lose weight and the weed and some top tips on how you can lose weight I'm Scott Bryant your host and I've been in the fitness industry for over 21 years. I'm a book author and I'm a Paul Check Master Practitioner, a Nutrition and Lifestyle Coach, a Metabolic Typing Advisor, a Functional Diagnostic Nutritionist, and uh, I'm a Shaman Healer and a Sports Massage Therapist. So I've been working out for 35 years and uh, I've been helping clients in London and all over the world in which to get the weight loss that they deserve using specialized techniques as well as using basic techniques uh, for you to lose weight. So many women cannot lose weight because they have bad diets, bad exercise programs, imbalanced hormones, too much stress, not eating enough and yo-yo dieting. So when it comes to a bad diet, uh, so a bad diet would be calorie counting because you can't with stain counting calories so I go by hand size proportions the next thing with a bad diet is not having enough fat in your diet so if you're eating carbohydrates and you're eating proteins and then you've been told to miss out fats or salt this will affect how your body uh, changes remembering that a woman's body is designed to have 20 percent more fat than a man's body and this is purely because when you go through menstrual cycles you lose a lot of blood and on top of that if you have a child if you was starving and couldn't feed the child your body is designed to uh, increase body fat levels in which for you to be able to feed the baby through in through famine or lack of food okay because so you can can you see where calorie counting or restricting your diet of food is not a good idea because your body will uh, gain more body fat because it's designed to have a baby this may be different if you're in your you know 40s and 50s but some women are having babies in their 40s and 50s now so really important to eat according to your metabolic type. I'm a metabolic type and advisor. You can click on the link below and go to my website if you want to learn more about that. But let's talk about bad exercise. So what I mean by bad exercise is, is many women don't understand that uh, lifting weights will not make you big and bulky. I'll say that again. Lifting weights will not make you big and bulky. Men have 10 times more to testosterone than females. So that means if I lift weights, even for me to gain muscle is really difficult now I'm 50 years old. Uh, but it's even harder for women because you've got such a low amount of testosterone. But there is uh, exceptions to the rule. As you age from 40 onwards, the testosterone goes up for a female. So weight training is a great idea, but you still won't get any bigger. You still won't, go, you still won't get big and bulky. So really important to have an exercise program that is designed to balance your fitness as well as balance your hormones as well as help you to burn body fat. And I've seen many women's exercise programs in the gym where there's far too many exercises for their fragile hormonal systems. So it's very important to have the rule of less is always more. And always listening to your body as a female. If you don't feel like exercising, go for a walk instead. Don't go and exercise in the gym or cancel your appointment with your trainer. Your trainer should understand. So when it comes to females' hormones, your hormone system is more fragile than mine, so you have to be even more careful about what time you go to bed at night, how much water you're drinking, and the types of foods that can cause irregulation with your uh, hormonal system. And the thing is, you can get bugs and parasites and fungal infections like women get a lot in the vagina. And this could be causing a disbalance in your hormones, which could be making you gain more body weight than lose it. OK, 
So hormones are really, really important to be looked at. Now I'm just gonna have a bit of water in my love bottle. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is stress. So I've had a lot of women come to me and they go, oh, I've got a big belly and I can't get rid of the big belly. Now, big belly and belly weight here is always stress and cortisol. So cortisol is an awakening hormone. And if you're not going to bed at 10.30 or 9.30, then this will be jacking up your cortisol levels, which will make you store more fat around this area. The same as if you're drinking too much coffee or too much cola uh, or too much alcohol, you will store the body weight here. So really important for you to get that out of your uh, diet. So then that way you just drink pure water and you will find that your body will uh, change more. The next thing is that uh, many women will starve themselves in which to lose weight, which is a big, big no-no. So when you starve yourself, your body thinks, oh, it's starving, right, let's store more body fat, let's get fatter because uh, I need to make sure I've got uh, enough fat to give uh, you breast milk for you to be able to feed the baby. So never ever starve yourself, never ever count calories. But I'll talk about fasting. Fasting is a great idea, but it's how you do it which is important, okay? So yo-yo dieting, if you look like an apple like or a pear and you've got uh, arms and legs out the side of the apple, then you'll know that you've got uh, insulin resistance and that your yo-yo dieting has caused this problem. And remembering that the period of time in which for you to lose weight may be up to a year. If you're exercising correctly, eating correctly and your hormones are starting to get balanced, you should be losing one or two pounds a week. But if you're clinically obese, you'll probably lose a lot more to start off with and then it'll plateau out. And that's when you need somebody like me with my skill of uh, 21 years uh, to really look and to fine tune everything so you keep losing weight and the body changing. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you some hints and tips to help you really on your way for you to get the body and fitness that you're really looking for. So the first thing is fasting. Now I'm not talking about uh, fasting for 40 days like Jesus did. I'm talking about doing intermittent fasting and how you can do this is stop eating at 6 p.m. and don't eat again till 12 o'clock or three o'clock. And the more that you do this, the gut will become healthier, you will feel healthier, and the body will lose uh, body weight, but you need to still exercise. So it's a fallacy when you're fasting that you lose muscle. You start to gain muscle because growth hormone goes up. If you read Dr. Fung's book, he talks a lot about the misinformation out there about fasting. Now, I do intermittent fasting every other day. My body likes it. I like it. And I stay in shape at 50 years old. So it's the same for a woman. I've seen women that do intermittent fasting, their bodies change, but it's not just about the intermittent fasting. It's about getting it right. Okay, the next thing is that you must, must weight train. Remember, if you've been uh, doing yo-yo dieting or you've been uh, not eating regular, missing breakfast, then you may have lost, may have lost a lot of muscle so you need to gain this muscle back and this is what the metabolic typing diet does it helps you to gain the muscle back but lean tissue not big and bulky tissue like me okay so remember that as well so weight training is a must uh, five exercises a workout and stay in the rep zone of 15 to 20 to build endurance in the muscles so you won't get big and bulky Okay, so the next tip is fish oils. If you're not getting uh, the right amount of fish oils into the body, you will find that the body won't lose as much fat weight because fish oils have EPA and DHEA in them and vitamin D, which will help the body to lose more weight. The next thing is get your zinc levels checked. If your zinc is too low, this could be a blockage of you not losing weight and for your body to uh, cease to change. Okay, the next thing is eating according to your metabolic type. 
So I've got the metabolic typing book here. There you go. It's by William Wilcott and Tris Fay. I highly recommend it. Or you could do the test with me and uh, book some coaching hours where we can get you to correctly eat for your metabolic type. All my clients change eating according to their metabolic type. There's other diets that I use and other tricks and techniques that I use if I see that the client has hit a sticking point. Uh, so it's really important, get metabolically typed test, do some fasting, up your fish oils, get into bed on time to get that cortisol level down is really important. So get to bed by 10.30 or 9.30 and sleep all the way through. So then that way your body uh, starts to balance the hormones naturally because your body goes through repair cycles when you're going to bed at the right time. Cut out all alcohol if you can. If you can't cut out alcohol, then reduce it to spirits. Don't have wine and don't have beer. Because if you have a bottle of wine, that's probably a bag of sugar. If you're having a couple of beers, that's probably a couple of bags of sugar. On your waist, on your face, and on your mammary glands. So it's really important for you to cut them out. Never, ever, ever, ever count calories. It's too confusing too time consuming, you can't keep it going, you will go Weight Watchers, lose a couple of pounds, then you gain it all back, then you go back again, and that's a repetitive cycle, okay? So the books I would recommend is Your Body Never Lies, uh, Transform the Power of Fasting, and of course my own book, which is Holistic Health for Proper Geezers, Classy Ladies, Get the body and fitness you want now. You can buy that on Amazon for about £6. If you buy the book and you give me the code in the book, you will get a free program with me or a free hour where we can talk about exactly what you need in which to get your body in shape. So I hope you've enjoyed this in-depth video. Please subscribe, please share, please like. I upload videos on a regular basis nearly every day. And I look forward to interacting with you and helping you to get the body and fitness you want. Please subscribe, please share, please like. Thank you. Bye-bye.